What's up, brother? Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. Fair enough. I should get going now. Peace, brother. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like the Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past them. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. All right. Driver, proceed, please. Okay, sir. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought... Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> well, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop. She's the scary. Road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. 
<clears throat> Let him come. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood view. <clears throat> we'll need something. I ain't playing, Jess. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. <laughs> I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. Yeah. Well, at least I got so a hat now. Pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? You can't speak. You turned idiot. <laughs> right. Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there, Benton. There, there. Don't get mad now. That way, you must have come. What is the meaning of this? What does it mean that it'll be? Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> All right. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you, sir. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Can't move forward. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Let's get some people pissed. Why not? Gentlemen! Gentlemen, my name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, Fizzin. A gift. A bounty. It's a sin to look at a gift for you. Well, I see a gift for you. Okay, filling them all the way. 
Just keep them coming. Gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 those sons of bitches dead. I from. up a career what was it advertising yeah you think that woman set us up no i don't think so maybe this place is odd yeah. i keep seeing those fellas some local militia clearly not too happy to have some new competition i'll go visit old my braithwaite see what's what why we've been making money the chest is filling up again slowly but surely Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. 
That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. <coughs> Let's go see Dutch. He always has something nice to say. Hey, Micah. There's a bitch. Arthur! Arthor! I'm coming. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until <laughs> we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles what? with you. <sighs> Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Go find Charles. <laughs> Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Let's go in the dark. Sorry, Dad. Good job. Come on, Jimothy. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> So, spirits seem good in Pretty the smart. new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. 
There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. Well, let's find it. Oh. Where are you hiding? Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. People stop pushing me, please. That'd be nice. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Expected. No. What do you think? Stop. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Never good. Oh, I want to see apple. Ah, big apple. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Really? Big struggle. Pretty mm, recently, look, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 Come hours on. ago. But no body? Not yet. Mm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? Meh. All right, I guess. Mm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of. I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. Right. I know. When me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find him. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? He must have crossed over the tracks. Huh? Let's go get him. All right, girl. These tracks lead into the forest here. Went the wrong way. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Hey, get back on your horse. No. Will you stop getting in my way? Really? Horse has got a big ass. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> You seen a strange sort of feller, sort of formal? Strange, sure. Formal, nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. <laughs> 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 There's two, three, jump, 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 jump. Yes. Who do you think you are? Bitch. Bitch. Oh. 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 You stay there. That's the loot, bro. Twenty dollars. She is easy. Uh, where 
<laughs> it's Trelawney. I don't know anything. Oh. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. All right. Well done. All right. That should do it. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Hey, partner. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He <laughs> don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. We all know what that means. Nothing's in that straightforward. Where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Oh, this is such a beautiful game for 2014. Looks gorgeous. I'm enjoying the story so far. It's different. So, good. That must be it. Easy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Hi. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Where'd you go? What? Stop hiding, coward! 
We need to find these bastards. Yeah, we do. know who you are, and we're coming for you. you. Ain't coming for shit. You wait till I find you. Over there, where the birds are. Look at saying over there, shooting. Yeah, my hide and seek. Yeah. Where, 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 where? Fucking okay, hell, these guys are ninjas. I see something on the ground over here. He stumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Big yellow thing. All right. Keep looking, Arthur. He must be close. There he is. Watch yourself. Oh, shit. <laughs> you see anything? Nope. Take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Yes. Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. You fucking little bitch. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. God damn you! The gunshots are coming from that. Get your gun out then. What the ah! fuck are you doing? Where is he? Seriously? Come on, you bastard! Shit! Good. You should be the last of them. Should be. All right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our oh. luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. 
Put your feet up, why don't you? <laughs> you okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Probably best idea. Bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. See indeed.